All right. So Mike, I, I really want to ask a juicy question now. Should women send messages? Oh, Clayton, this is the best question ever. Thank you for asking it. It's taboo. We think men should be chasing the women. Totally, 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 totally wrong. Mm. It is so much more effective for women to send the message. Let me explain mm. why. All right, first of all, women are getting uh, sometimes 10 messages a day. So there's a lot of traffic going on there. Men, on the other hand, we get maybe one message a week, maybe one every two weeks. Mm. Some of us, one a month. Anyway, we're getting very few messages. Yeah. So when a man gets a message, he is analyzing that puppy. He is going to read the profile. He's going to look at the pictures. He's going to spend some time. But women, on the other hand, since they're getting a lot of messages, they blow through a message sometimes in less than 15 seconds. Mm. So they make a decision very quickly versus men are going to take a lot of time because they don't get a lot. Now, what also is great about that is women can send messages very quickly and be way more efficient than men can. Men need to read your profile and then write something very specific about your profile and all not to imagine, not to discount the fact that they had to one, find you, be attracted to you and be interested. So a man may send one message every 15 minutes, but a woman, what I would suggest is just use the algorithm of 90% or higher and send a generic copy and paste message that says, hi, I hope you're doing well. How is your week going? Would you be interested in grabbing a drink sometime? Uh, Samantha. Mm. Now, if you send that to 50 guys in 20 minutes, all based on um, just their thumbnail picture, if you think it's okay. And what I mean by okay is um, if you rate them on a zero to four scale as um, a four or higher, and reason you only get a four, a four or higher, so if he looks like uh, Brad Pitt or if he looks like a number five, he still gets the same message because um, a scientific study has proven that women can move attractiveness based on personality four basis points. So if they write a guy on a zero to 10 scale of five, they can move after they get to know his personality, a five goes to a nine, a five goes to a one if it's a bad personality. Mm. On the flip side, men only move one basis point. Since we're visual, if we rate you a five, you're only getting to a six with a good personality. Anyway, so women, a four, you're sending a message to a four, a four turns into an eight. And I believe that women should marry probably um, chemistry, eight out of 10, compatibility, 10 out of 10. Mm. So anything four or above is going to meet that requirement. Wow. So, all right. So you've sent your message to 50 guys, 20 minutes. Yep. And let's say you get anywhere from 12 to 30 messages back, most realistically around 12. Now you've got 12 people that want to go on a date with you. And now you pick um, a few out of that 12 and you're going on some high quality dates because you had 12 options and you narrowed it down to one or two. Um, that one or two are probably going to be uh, pretty good. Mike, I love it. You make it sound so easy. And uh, now, now I really understand your website. I understand why you're the easy baby coach. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Okay. So, um, and it, another thing I love about it is you're right. You bring up such a great point. Women are being bombarded by messages. Typically men are so used to sending them. And then when they do get a message, they're going to look into it. They're going to look into it because it's rare. And uh, a lot of women don't send messages. So if you are one of the women that do and you can um, get over the, the gender roles of thinking that you have to be, uh, you can't make the first move, uh, there's so much opportunity in the online dating world. Yeah. So what should, the, you said a little, you talked a little bit about this, that uh, the woman can say, uh, hey, do you want to go out for a drink sometime? Is there anything else that uh, she can put in there? Do you have any other tips? on what that message should say or what her message should say maybe even after that? Um, so great question. So after it, so some women um, don't feel comfortable to go on a date right away. Yeah. And so what's great is let's say the guy comes back and says, yeah, I'd love to get a drink. Then she can say, fabulous. Um, why don't you give me a call at eight o'clock on Tuesday and we'll talk for 10 minutes and then we'll set up the date. Mm. So then she can spend 10 minutes making sure there's some sort of compatibility now, of course, men are very nervous on this first phone call, so they may be nervous and kind of blow it. Mm. So as long as he seems normal enough, you should probably go on the date. Because like I said, men are nervous. They're trying to impress you. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. um, it's bad because we don't know. We should just ask you questions and get to know you. We just try to whatever, impress you. Anyway, yeah. so give him a chance. Go on the date. 
Um, is that helpful in answering that question? It is. I think, and you, you bring up a really good point about uh, getting on a phone conversation with them and uh, really being able to feel the guy out. And also having the expectation that the guy might be nervous, he might feel awkward, he might not be as charming as you want him to be. And it's because he's afraid of being rejected. You know, he's afraid of maybe not being good enough. So rather than asking you questions, he's probably going to be trying to prove himself to you. And it may come off like he's bragging. It may come off like he's not actually interested in you. But that's actually just a sign of him trying to qualify himself to you. And if you can give him that free card and just see the underlying intentions of maybe why he's not coming off as a, a great conversationalist, uh, you can avoid disqualifying a guy that could be a really good fit. Great point. That's fantastic. And just to add on to that, um, if you don't mind. Um, so I had a client that she didn't have the chemistry. I just want to illustrate my uh, four basis point. So yeah. she went on a date with this guy and the conversation was awesome. He was a 92% match. And she comes back and she's like, Mike, you know, I wasn't physically attracted to him much at all. I'm like, you know, I understand. Um, do you think if he asked you on a second date, would you give him a chance? And Isabella, that's her name, she says, yeah, I'd give him a chance. So she goes on a second date. She comes back. She's like, man, another great conversation. There was no kiss, no chemistry. I'm like, all right, would you go on a date again? She said, sure. Anyway, fast forward on date eight. Date eight, it's been a while. She comes back. She says, Mike, he is the sexiest man alive. <laughs> I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, he's freaking sexy. I'm like, all right. Fast forward even more, about a year and a half into their relationship, they got engaged. So now we're looking back probably about eight or nine weeks from today. Um, wow. Yeah, they're going to get married. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that is a perfect example of this idea and the, and the science behind the slow boil, right? That a, that a guy can go up four points on that scale of one to 10. And uh, I think it's so it's so awesome that you mentioned that because it gives female listeners and, and watchers of this video uh, a little bit of, uh, a, of insight into their own workings, right? So rather than thinking, and oh God, I'm not attracted to this guy right away, or uh, I'm just not feeling it right now, just to realize that maybe if you give yourself just a little bit more patience to get to know the guy, he could turn into Mr. Right, right before your eyes after a couple of dates. That's wonderful. So I, I've got one more question for you, and there might be another one that comes up, uh, so don't hold me to it. But uh, the question is, how do you determine which guys get a response and ultimately an in-person date? We talked a little bit about this, but say they message you, um, or you know, do you have any other tips around who you should go on a date with if you're a woman? Yes. So there needs to be... Well, first of all, you should figure out the, the five most important things that you need in a partner. Mm. Um, so, so I would first write a list, write down everything you need, and then get it down to five. You only get five things. Um, there's a longer process to do that, but for these purposes, get it to five. Now, if you think they have the five in the profile, then rock and roll, go on the date. If they don't, don't go on the date. But now, let's say we're doing online dating and we need a very systematic approach to who gets a date. There's three things you want to look at. Um, one and this is the most important, is their profile. If you read their profile and you're like, wow, we have a lot in common and this looks good, go on the date. The second thing is the match percentage. Um, so the match percentage actually comes second because I trust who you are and who you are to make decisions way more than the match percentage, the algorithm. So first profile, then match percentage, and then the last thing is their message. Mm. So this is very important because a lot of guys will send some crappy message and that's fine. They probably should. They're frustrated. Men are tired. They could send 50 messages and get zero responses. Mm. And I've heard that story all the time. I know a guy who sent a thousand messages and didn't go on a date. Could you imagine? Anyway, a lot of guys are frustrated. So they have decided like, I'm going to send a copy and paste or I'm just going to say hello. Mm -hmm. so don't worry about the message. If they spent some time to build a nice profile, that's a good sign. They care. They want to, they want to find someone. Mm. And also if the match percentage is high, we've already determined that 85% of the time you have a good conversation. Um, so those are the, the meat and potatoes of how you should make your decision. Beautiful. So just in summary, uh, 
add to this if I, if I miss any, uh, evaluate the guy off of his profile because the message, you, you can't really do it off of the message because he could be very frustrated. You have no idea what he's been through to get to this point where he's messaged you. Mm -hmm. So look at his profile, look how he set that up. And then the next thing is look at the compatibility and uh, also whether or not you're uh, at least remotely attracted to him. Is there, was there anything there I'm missing? Yes, um, that was great. You got a lot of it. So yeah. yeah, if his picture's a four and above on a zero to 10 scale, right. green light. Yep. And also if the match percentage, ideally, um, I mean, ideally 90% or higher. And mm -hmm. when you get to like 93 plus, it's like, oh man, you have a lot in common. Yeah. But then if you're 80% or above, um, you'll be in pretty good shape. So 80 to 90 is not terrible. Yeah. Um, but then 90 and above, uh, Whoa, you hit the gold mine. Love it. Love it. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Well, look, we are, we've spent so much time and I'm sure we could continue to go down this rabbit hole. It's such an interesting topic. And I love all of the just real tactical advice that you've given on this interview. There's so much that women can take and start using immediately and building their online profiles and starting to see some success. If they want to take things to the next level and uh, they want to get in touch with you and uh, possibly work with you or go deeper and uh, really see even more success in the online dating world. Uh, what should people do at this point? All right. So I believe below this video, we're going to put a link, um, not only to my website, but we'll put a yep. link to um, a strategy session with me. And this is awesome. So it's 15 minutes on the phone with me where we can talk about anything online dating or anything dating. Uh, I'm an open book. So we'll talk about whatever you want and 15 minutes um, complimentary. Um, it's really easy on the link. It just gives you access to my calendar. So just a few clicks, rock and roll. We're going to, I'm going to call you. We're going to talk. Now what's cool about this is it's just 15 minutes. Um, so real quick at the end of that, if we want to do something longer, we can set that up and then we do a full blown strategy session where that could be an hour, hour and a half. And we really dive into your love life. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. 15 minutes, complimentary. I love this. Um, I've been able to give this for free and it's been amazing. Like I love just getting to help people, not worrying about any money, just purely focus your relationship, your love life, what you want to do with your online dating, you know, what's happening in your specific situation that you and I can try to fix right away and get you some immediate results. I love it. And I've had a lot of clients come back and say, Hey, I met someone because I did your method. And that's without even, um, you know, sitting down with me for hours. That's like, we got it done really quick in a few minutes. So I would love to chat with everybody. And, uh, you know, I want to get everyone to fall in love. So it's a pretty cool yeah. thing. So let's do it. Yes. Well, Mike, I can tell you got a really big heart and that's such a, it's a very generous offer on your part. Um, so thank you for coming on today and uh, conducting this interview and giving us some really awesome gold nuggets about how to succeed in online dating. And again, uh, Mike's uh, link is below this video. So go ahead and schedule a 15 minute strategy session with him if you want, or check out his website at easydatingcoach.com. Mike, thanks for coming on. I really appreciate it. Clayton, you're the man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You got it. All right. Take care, everybody.